One thing you can do to uh, speed up Windows XP boot time is use a program called BootBiz. Uh, let's do some preparation first. Um, do a search for the advanced options and search for prefetch. Um, if you notice there, there is nothing called layout.ina. So you can search uh, on Google for the name process idle task. So that's what I've done here. I've just uh, copied the command into Notepad. So what I'll do is copy that to the clipboard and then create a new shortcut on the desktop and paste that in. Press next and we'll give it a name. Uh, we'll call it layout. And once that's done, we press finish. We'll close the Notepad here and click or double click on layout. Now you're not, you're not really going to see anything so open task manager by right clicking on the task bar show processes for all users sort by name sort by CPU time until you see system idle process and you can see the CPU is jumping up and down uh, this is normal so what it's doing is actually creating the file that we we're looking for, the layout.ina. So let's go back, do another search, make sure you have advanced options, check so the first three checkboxes, and then search for prefetch again. Then open the prefetch windows folder, and if you look, there it is, layout.ina. Okay, we'll go on the internet. Uh, I'll choose Major Geeks and scroll down and search for Boot Viz. V I S. Boot V I S. And there it is, Boot Viz, version 13.37. So select that link. Choose a down location. Um, I'm not close to any of these, but it doesn't matter. It's really small. And save your disk. There, it's done already. Now we have BootViz ready to install. So just double click and accept the uh, security warnings to run. Click next. Select I agree. Click next again. Defaults are just, just for me and uh, C program files. Click next and it only takes a couple of seconds to install. And you're done. You press close. Um, one thing, it doesn't create a desktop icon, so it's in the Microsoft Boot Viz on the start menu, but I created one anyway. Once Boot Viz starts, you'll see a boot list with the uh, options. Just leave everything as default. All you do is select Trace, and then Next Boot Driver Delays. And just leave everything as a default, and you press OK, and just leave it. Um, just let it reboot itself. Okay, this may take some time, um, but once it boots up, you'll see that it's done a trace on all the things that were in the left hand side checkboxes. Uh, the one we're most interested in is the last one, Process Creates. So we'll scroll down, you can look at the different ones for uh, future reference if you want. Okay, so Process Creates. And you can see sort of like a benchmark of what's starting up uh, the most uh, common programs that are starting up. And the idea is to get it closest to this line as we can. So we take all the stuff over here and hopefully get it closer to this line. Before we do that, um, don't close boot viz. Um, Again, we'll do another search for prefetch, advanced options, and check the first three folders. And then again, you type in prefetch and search for files and folders. Or folders, sorry. And then uh, click search. Open the prefetch C Windows folder. Then sort by type. And make sure the layout in a 
is at the top and just scroll down and you'll see everything with the extension .pf right at the bottom so select the first .pf file highlight that then hold the shift key and then press end and that should select all the .pf files and press delete and select yes and you're done and just the layout.init is left now we'll just do a boot time optimization so you select optimize system under trace and again just let it reboot and this again this will take a few minutes and you can see that it's optimizing for better performance and all you do is you just wait for this to close you don't have to do anything else uh, this is the first windows to actually introduce the concept of prefetching um, the idea is to put your most used applications into a cache so that uh, when they're called upon they'll start faster uh, once this is done you just let it close and then restart a couple of times and you should notice your system booting faster um, but for extra things uh, be sure to take a look at part two thank you